Moving on to the next question. A four-year-old boy has a viral URTI for the past three days. The clearance of the virus is dependent on which of the following? What do you think is the answer to this one? Clearance of the virus is dependent on which of the following? The question is on the virus clearance. Okay, the question is on the virus clearance. Right, so remember that the virus clearance, basically we are talking about cytotoxic T cells. Okay, we are talking about cytotoxic T cells, which kill the viruses, the viral infected cells by inducing those perforins and granzymes. Cytotoxic is your CD8 positive T cell. So that is going to be what MHC restriction? For 8, it is MHC 1 restricted. Rule of 8 is what we have. 1 8s are 8 and 2 4s are 8. So basically you will have the CD4 will be your MHC 2 restricted. CD8 will be MHC 1 restricted. So this is going to be class 1 MHC viral peptide complex presentation to the cytotoxic T cell. It is not going to be your class 2 because class 2 is for CD4 helper cells. Okay, it is for CD4 helper cells. And what do the helper cells do? Why are the helper cells called as helper cells? Because they help the B lymphocytes to form the antibodies. Okay, they help the B lymphocytes to form the antibodies. Those are the helper cells that we have there. Activation of macrophages, it what leads to the, it activates the formation of granuloma like you see in TB vagera mein jaa mein ye lagta hai. Phagocytosis of the viral particles is not done by the CD8 plus T lymphocytes, it is done by the antigen presenting cells. So a quick snippet from the first aid like we have in the fast 5 quizzes. So T cells are the cell mediated immunity, B cells are the humoral immunity. You have CD4 positive T cells which are the helper B cells. They help the B cells to make the antibodies and they produce the cytokines to restrict, to recruit the phagocytes and activate other WBCs. The CD8 positive which are the cytotoxic, they eat the cells. They directly kill the virus infected and the tumor cells via perforin and granzymes similar to the natural killer cells. Is this clear with everyone? These are the ones which are responsible for type 4 hypersensitivity. Remember the type 4 hypersensitivity is cell mediated. There is no antibody there. This is what is responsible for your organ rejection. The acute and the chronic. The hyper acute organ rejection, transplant rejection is by the preformed antibodies which is type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. While you are acute and chronic there is a role of the T cells. Rule of 8, MHC2 is CD4 and MHC1 is CD8. So, the answer is going to be your class 1 MHC viral peptide complex presentation because this is what is cytotoxic. So, it will eat the virus wala cell by inducing those perforins and granzymes and that is why the answer is class 1 MHC. Is this clear with everyone? Immunology is important for your INICT exam, right? Very, very important. Okay. So that was the second question.